Hello fellow unicorns, welcome to another video and before we start make sure you are subscribed and that you have clicked the little bell button so that you can receive all the news and updates regarding my channel and new videos in your sub boxes. And also for all you guys who want to learn how to draw manga, each month for only $1 a month you can download complete reference guides with anatomy, the body shaping and shading uh, demonstrations on my Patreon page. So make sure you click on the link and join the Patreon Unicorn Army. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about a very, um, I guess, less spoken of topic regarding uh, designing characters, designing stories, but it's actually a very powerful topic and I wanted to see what your personal preferences are during designing of characters regarding gender roles. Um, a lot of us have grown up with some certain stereotypes we have been seeing in anime or movies or TV shows where all the male characters should be like manly or rugged or just um, insensitive or maybe like hard to express their emotions, uh, like manly in all facts of their personality, every aspect of their personality, including clothes, including um, the way they behave or the way they create decisions. And also the girls are supposed to be timid, um, gentle, um, innocent, I don't know, like feminine, like only wear dresses and makeup. And um, when I was younger, almost nothing else but these cliches have been served to me in books, in fairy tales, in games, uh, movies, TV shows, etc. And only a couple of um, places where I could find a place where a girl can be a prince or where a guy can be a princess or just roles being reversed and not uh, and something that's not connected to their gender being a part of their personality uh, by the usual tropes that's the kind of stories that i got hooked on um, some of those stories were definitely one of my favorite disney princess mulan and something like osamu tezuka's sapphire princess so make sure to check those out, out if you already haven't um, but some of the characters like my main theme of this video is do you guys like seeing characters that are out of these tropes? Do you uh, support characters that are male but have female features? Do you support females that have manlier features? Do you think these characters are more developed or less developed? Do you think um, they are appealing in some sort to you? Does their story speak more to you? Um, this kind of a theme is present today more where we have certain characters in video games and movies for example Zarya from Overwatch or any kind of female character that is more muscular that has more manly features that has deep voice but she is still beautiful in her own way she is not frowned upon because of this this is a part of her personality and I personally am all about acceptance for these types of characters and accepting that they are beautiful in their own way in even in real life so nobody is like identical and i personally think a lot of characters should be diverse just as everybody is diverse in their real life especially in this department i personally prefer to have characters with switch gender roles um the main character of my own manga one of the, my, my manga ideas is a transgender girl and we follow their story and just it's it's a horror story but still it's a character that i wanted to have to be in this specific role um, i have other characters that are not like this but personally i think that we definitely should have more characters that are more diverse. I don't know if you disagree or agree, you're free to leave a comment down below and share with me all of your opinions about if characters should be able to have diverse gender roles, if m male characters should or shouldn't have maybe more feminine features both, both visually or as a character. 
I personally think that this is something that shows a more of a 3D nature to our characters and not just a trope, not just a cliche that you can see everywhere. Sometimes these characters that are created to be like co co copy pasted to me personally are very boring. So I think think that maybe we should see a lot more diversity and I personally suggest that maybe you should explore in your own works and creating characters with this topic and just try to make uh, your characters not be as every other character and maybe test out maybe give the girls a little bit more masculine features at least in like the personality category I guess and maybe the boys could be more emotional or maybe more creative or something like that so please share with me your characters your OCs maybe some of them uh, even having the application of these switch gender roles on them I would love to hear about that so yeah share with me all of your opinions about this topic and let's make a discussion and enjoy the rest of the video thank you guys so much and see you guys next time I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you want to learn how to draw manga, check out my book Manga Crash Course, available in English, French, Serbian, and Chinese.